Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Malish. Now today I'm going to be giving you guys my review for episode 20 of Dragon Ball Super. Now in this episode, the pacing was pretty quick in this one. And what I mean by that is that we saw Frieza's revival, which was actually in the prior episode, but we saw him, you know, giving his little speech when he comes out. We see Jaco, and we see... Vegeta and Goku's training with Whis and Frieza actually landing on Earth four months later after his training. Now, what disappointed me about this episode is that we did not get to see any of Frieza's training or really how Goku and Vegeta necessarily attain Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Blue, whatever you prefer to call it. What was cool, and when I saw it, I was hoping they were going to actually build and expand upon, is that when Whis and, uh, you know, was watching Goku and Vegeta in this episode, they collide their fists, and if you guys saw the episode, they had that aura, uh, that spark happened, that had the Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan aura spark out of their hands, uh, you know, that blue key. And I liked the depth that was going on here. Whis was explaining how they should keep their key within their body instead of letting it leak out when they fight and that was really cool and i want to hear more about that stuff because we don't really hear about that stuff in dragon ball that much and that honestly really intrigued me when i heard that sound like whoa they have to contain their key so they're not losing energy to keep it within them and i guess make them stronger which sounds awesome i want to hear more about that but we didn't hear more in this episode and i think when they had that little spark showing that they were getting close to turning super saiyan god super saiyan because they didn't it appeared they did not have that form yet because they were so shocked about that spark i think that that scene took place before the four months of frieza's training because that scene took place after frieza said i'm gonna go train then we see that scene play and I think that's before the four months. Because if it was after, it wouldn't make sense for him to get the form, you know, right then and then go fight Frieza. So it looks like they attained that form within the four months that Frieza tra trained. That's the way I was seeing it, but it looks like we did not get to see how exactly they attained that form. I guess they just learned to keep their key within their body and not have it leak out. But... That's another video for another day. I can maybe go a little bit more in depth on some theories, maybe have a couple guests. But for this episode, really not a whole lot happened, guys. Just a retelling of Resurrection F, just like those Battle of Gods arc episodes we saw early on, where nothing really happened. It's the same thing here. The pacing for this episode's about the same as the movie, you know, obviously not including the prior episode, which took out which took up a very big chunk um, of time for a small amount of information that it had in it um instead of killing Togoma Frieza just tortures him and if you guys have been hearing about this stuff with Ginyu not gonna spoil that if it's true but it looks like that might be a thing if you know about the Ginyu stuff because the Ginyu frog was in the last episode and there might be some stuff going on with that there's been rumors we get to see Jocko like I mentioned Goten and Trunks are playing around with him he they're like, oh, you know, oh, you have that cool jump, that, that little jumpsuit. And he's like, that's not a jumpsuit, that's my skin. They think they rip off his ear, but it's really his little radio device. And there's some cool stuff with Jocko. Bulma and Jocko have an extended conversation that I think lasted a little bit too long, in my opinion. Um, but overall, it was pretty funny, uh, the parts with Jocko. I did like this episode overall, but honestly, there's not too much to say about it, really. Um, nothing really happened that we haven't seen before. The line that Frieza says, I'm going to get a power of 1.3 million, is not in this episode, so it looks like he's not going to be mentioning that at all. And like I said, it just, you know, Frieza gets revived. Goku and Vegeta's training. Um, Jocko and Frieza lands on Earth. That's the end of the episode. That really is it. There wasn't anything else to mention, and I don't really want to drag this off for too long. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, even though it was honestly kind of short a whole chunk of it was me talking about super saiyan god super saiyan which i really i really want to do a video on that would you guys want to hear a video uh me thinking me talking about how i think they got the form because it looks like they're not uh getting it shown off would you guys like to see that i'm probably gonna do it either way but i would like to know what you guys think of that uh before i go i'd like to apologize for just having image 
on screen. It's the editing. I've just been super busy with my life lately. My last couple of videos, I've been just using one image. I'm getting out of, you know, I'm about to leave my job soon. Uh, I have a bunch of things going on in my life, so I haven't had a whole lot of time to do a lot of things. I'm very bad at keeping up with replying comments, so I've, I apologize to you guys for that. Today, I was setting up this new 4K TV that I bought, <laughs> and that was taking a while because I had to do some programming with it. Uh, so it's just been consuming a lot of my life, but I'm going to get back to things. I'll have a little video update when I'm getting up to snuff, just trying to pace things out here. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Again, sorry about the lack of editing. If it bothered you guys, hopefully it didn't. Let me know what you guys think of this episode, and I'll catch you later.